the only thing which I was concerned about whether this is it's going to be safe number two and the origin of the stem cells so I found it a bit more reliable here and that's why I made the final decision. I must appreciate the way we have been treated um, right from the airport till now all the therapies everything run ran very smoothly. I now understand that it is the trial basis but it's worth giving a trial at least you can you want to do maximum for your kid. Hello sir, Hello. what is your name and where you're coming from? My name is Mazhar, Mazhar Kiani, and I'm from London. I came from UK. Yeah. Why are you here in Swiss Medical? Um, I'm here for my stem cell therapy for my son, um, eight years old, who has got ASD. Uh, what kind of challenges does he uh, face in his everyday life having this diagnosis? Um, the it's, 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 life is full of challenges, to be honest. Um, it starts from, obviously, his routines every day, his communication skills. Um, he's sometimes getting a bit like irritable with and, uh, certain things, noises and screams of the little babies he can't tolerate. Um, also, a bit picky eater as well. Um, and often um, getting tantrums as well in, in, in certain occasions. Back home, uh, does, he ha does he go into a special school? Has he got special classes being performed in that school? What kind of therapies do you have back home? Yeah, he um, used to go in, in mainstream school, but um, because the mainstream school was not coping with him, uh, they have put him in a special school now. So he's in special school. But obviously there are less children, uh, mostly with the same kind of needs what he has. And uh, there are like specialist teachers who deal with these people doing everyday therapies, speech therapies, um, occupational therapies, all sorts of things are in place for him. Have you noticed any changes in any progress with all these classes? Um, only a little. Um, I must say um, not a significant progress. Obviously, with the age, we were expecting him to be showing a bit more progress, but um, he's eight now, and I would say there is a little bit progress, but not what we expected. Um, so, what are your expectations then now after having the stem cell uh, therapy? Right, the, first of all, the, the priority which I would like to expect uh, on the priority basis is the, his communication skills. Um, I do know that he's got language, he's got words, he's got sentences, but he's not using them appropriately. Um, communicating with other kids, other people is the main challenge. Um, he's independent otherwise with his own daily things, but the communication is my uh, biggest hope which I want to achieve from this therapy. And how did you find out about stem cell therapy and the Swiss Medica in, gen in, in particular? Sure. I've been doing a research on uh, different sort of therapies, to be honest, um, and that's mostly internet-based. So um, I was looking at what, what sort of therapies are available, which can help him. They vary from stem cell to some like transcranial magnetic like stimulation. Mm -hmm. Um, that happens in the United States, also some behavioral therapies as well. Um, so it's all a bit, bit of research for the last two, three years. And I found that there are uh, only few places where they do these um, stem cell therapies. Um, I know that this is a bit of emerging therapy um, for certain other conditions, and I was amazed that they started doing it for the um, ASD autistic um, children as well. So um, I now understand that it is the trial basis, but it's worth giving a trial. At least you can, you want to do maximum for your kid. Uh, you... Did you have any fears before coming here? Any the, obstacles? We, the, the only thing, I mean, obviously is making a decision and going through that, this is, which is a bit of like unknown area. Um, not much research on it. And based on my uh, background, I'm a very um, researched person. I always go with the scientific research and medical research. And 
Um, unfortunately, up to date, there's not much research about the stem cell therapy with the uh, treatment of autism. So that was the biggest challenge to make a decision uh, whether this is going to be safe um, or whether it's going to be working. I know that it's very difficult to say about the effectiveness, but the main thing which I wanted to rule out is the, was the safety. And after having um, consultations with the Swiss medical consultants two or three times, uh, at least what well, I came to know, they also sent me some information as well about the therapy and doing a research on certain medical journals as well. I found that at least if, 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 it, is, if it is not going to be effective, that's another discussion, but at least it's not going to get any side effects of that. So that's why um, I made a decision that, okay, let's give it a try with that. Have you mentioned to your uh, pediatrician that you're coming? Not the pediatrician, no. I mean, he hasn't seen his pediatrician for a while now. Obviously, uh, in the UK, there is a s different system, so we mostly contact with uh, uh, our general practitioners. And the pediatricians, I think, he saw that was about a couple of years ago when they just put the hands off that, okay, all he needs is speech therapy, there is no developmental issues, um, and that will help him. And if they, in case, if there is any need, in the future we'll be happy to see him. Um, unfortunately my son's time of those two three years when he was diagnosed initially till now uh, we were badly hit by the Covid as well so there was a lockdown for two years we couldn't get any treatment any therapies at all and that has a bit of worse effect on him as well. Uh, but I haven't told my uh, doctor yet that we are going but his school knows I told them that we're taking him for the stem cell therapy would be nice when they start noticing something, right? They know him really well. Yeah. It would be I mean, really nice yeah, yeah. to hear the feedback from them and from yeah. you, of course. Exactly. Well, uh, have you considered any other clinics apart from that one? Because there are some other there in the world. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, I would say, uh, to be honest, the thing which I wanted to make sure, based on my research, was that number one is safety. Number two, um, I wanted to know where the stem cells come from. And as I had to mention that after having discussion with the uh, uh, consultants, uh, when they made me, uh, they reassured me that they are preparing these stem cells um, in Switzerland and they are doing in their own laboratory. Um, and then the number of stem cells they are injecting in a go. Then I made a decision. I didn't have any research about any other clinics. I, I know a couple of clinics in Turkey, they are doing a bit cheaper prices, all that, but the main concern was, and also they're doing it in India, and even in Pakistan, they've started doing it as well, the American companies. I had a chat with uh, the American guy as well, but the only thing which I was concerned about, whether this is, is going to be safe, number two, and the origin of the stem cells. So I found it a bit more reliable here, and that's why I made a final decision. Uh, it's a bit costly, well, obviously, um, I would say the more reliable in a sense that they reassured me. And there is also distance factor, right, always? And the distance yes. factor, yeah, that's the to other thing, To travel with an yes. autistic kid Absolutely. for 10 hours in the airplane. It's not easy thing. Would yes. be a challenge. Yeah, a very challenging, yeah, I agree. Uh, all right, so uh, how much time did it pass from the moment that you consulted our uh, office till you came to the clinic physically? Right. Was um, it a long journey? Uh, not really, no. I think it was um, the first time I contacted. I knew about Swiss Medica for the last two years. I contacted them, I think, during the COVID, but unfortunately that was not the right time to travel. So that, that all went into um, somewhere in the distance. But then I contacted them seriously when I made up my mind. That was in, I start, the whole process started somewhere in August. And in September, I think I had consultations with the doctors, and then um, December I'm here. So it's three, four months, not more than that. So quite. So quick. did you did you set up the date yourself, or they or they were offering you the, the dates to come? Uh, they offer me a few slots, and this was the most because I told them this will be a good time for me, uh, because of the Christmas holidays in UK. Uh, it's difficult for me and kid both to take the days off from work and for him from the school. So this was the ideal time for me. And they 
adjusted that. So they said, well, fine, that we can go with this stage. So that, that worked for me. So to your opinion, uh, how did the treatment go? Did everything went, uh, go smooth? Um, how did your child take the treatment? Mm -hmm. uh, I must say, the um, whole process was pretty much impressive, to be honest. Um, obviously, that was the other thing. When, when you go to a different country, you're not sure what's going to happen to you, how you're going to be treated. Um, but I must appreciate the way we have been treated. Um, right from the airport till now, all the therapies, everything run, ran very smoothly. Uh, we didn't have any complaints about anything. Um, the staff here is amazing. They're very friendly, very cooperative. Doctors are very good and they are willing to help you anytime you ask any question. Food-wise, the kitchen, I can see that whatever you ask, they will prepare for you. So no complaints from my side, to be honest, from that point of view. Um, everything is has been perfect so far and we've been treated very well. So I'm quite happy with the service they have given to us. And overall within the clinic, I would say, um, myself, I'm a health practitioner as well. So overall the standards um, of the clinic, the cleanliness, health, safety, they are up to the mark. And I would say they are the best I can imagine for a best care service in healthcare. So no complaints from that point of view. I'm not sure about the effectiveness, which we obviously will see later okay. on, but overall the service is, is excellent. Uh, so uh, what would be your advice to other parents over there seeking for some help for their kids, okay. hesitating whether or not? What, yeah. what, kind, what piece of advice would you give to him? Um, my advice is um, obviously it's, it's a very difficult area and it's very difficult diagnosis. Um, keep exploring. And I would say, I mean, obviously when we haven't got many options available, but the best they keep, I would say, rather than making random decisions, always go look at the research, look at the evidence. And if there's something which is obviously appealing or making any positive, could make a positive impact, I would go for that. I would advise them to take that chance. It is, it is a trial. It is taking a chance, and as well, as long as we are confident that it's not going to make anything worse, um, I would go for it, and I would advise them to take a chance as well. There's, there shouldn't be much hesitation. At least, uh, be, be, the service provided to us is, I would say, I would recommend to everyone. Thank you so much, sir.